Hey Taurus, how you doing? I'm here to do your May 7th through 21st reading. See what's going on with you guys. See what merit Spirit Universe has told me what's going on with my Taurus. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I would truly appreciate it. Um, if this message resonates with you, I would love to hear about it in the comments below. For a personal reading, um, the information is down in the description box. You can also follow me on Instagram, Firewitch Tarot, for daily guidance and motivation. All right, let's get started. Oh, please take note that I do cuss. So if it offends you in any way, shape, and form, you can get the fuck out of here because I'm not going to deal with your bullshit. We're all adults here, so suck it up, buttercup. All right. Let's see what's going on with my Taurus. Ooh, Ten of Pentacles reverse. The of Wands reverse. The Three of Swords reversed. Justice reverse. The Six of Swords. Wow. And the Nine of Pentacles reversed. The Lovers. And the King of Swords. Overall energy is the Ace of Cups. Okay. So I feel like... Hmm. There could have been a breakup in the past. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. And um, it probably had to do with leaving a relationship Maybe you caused heartache, heartache in your relationship and you're getting over it or you're getting over a relationship. Probably feel like this person stabbed you in your fucking heart and you had a hard time moving on, but you're getting over that finally. And with the Six of Swords here, you had the need to get away. Maybe you had to get out of your relationship or your family or take off for a little bit. So you can get out of that situation for, take a break I'm seeing. The Queen of Swords reversed. Um, some of you are holding back what you want to say to this person or them you. And with the Nine of Pentacles reversed, um, you were probably going to offer someone, I'm saying a helping hand financial wise, but that didn't work out. Or you were thinking about doing that, but you're no longer going to do that. Or you weren't there financially for somebody. So that's why the Nine of Pentacles is reversed. And then you have the Lover's card. So you could be dealing with the Gemini. Or this could just be your relationship that you were in. There could have been some kind of plan or action you were going to... You were going to do. Like a project you were going to work on or... That just didn't go your way and it didn't end up, end up working out and you thought that maybe you were going to get a job offer and it didn't go through or you didn't accept it because they weren't paying you enough money or there was not enough money coming in. I'm saying you could also walked away from a relationship because you weren't financially there for that person. I'm saying that you didn't, you don't give a fuck that you broke this person's heart. Or now you're feeling bad about it. And you're thinking about coming back. But in order for you to come back and make it right, you have to be fucking financially on your shit. You gotta be stable. There could be uh, an Aries, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, older male figure that's gonna come in and tell it like it is. Who's going to give you a little piece of advice because you might fucking need it. Maybe you've been acting a little childish lately. And they're going to come in and let you know you need to mend the fuck up. And there could be a female that's holding back certain things to say to you because they might not want, they are afraid to hurt your feelings or they have something to say to you. So as soon as you come back, they're going to say it. But right now they're staying low key about something. 
and now you feel like because you walked away from this relationship or something like that, you're thinking about coming back. You're probably going to offer them some love or you're going to realize that you fucked up. You might want a second chance in this relationship. Someone might forgive you. Hmm. What's going on with my Taurus? <coughs> that flew out. Flew out. The wheel. Um. This one says, "King of Summer." A romantic partner you can trust. Excellent advice that, that comes from the heart. Getting involved in a cultural or creative endeavor. So I'm seeing that you could be... You probably walked away from someone who was very, like, loyal to you. And like I said, you're going to be getting some advice from somebody. And it's going to come from the heart. It could be your father or grandfather or someone that you're related to. Or an older figure or a friend of a father or something like that. And they're going to help you get, give you that push to get a better job or start something creative. So it can help bring in some money. And then you have the, the wheel in reversed. And it talks about delays. Okay. The wheel is, um, things are suddenly being delayed. Like, because of this happened, you're not able to move forward right now because it's like a temporary pause. There's de You're causing delays to happen because of some kind of relationship that you were in. Maybe there was a delay in this job offer that you were going to get and it turned down or it just didn't go through. Or you weren't feeling up for it because of what was going on. Let's see. What's going on with my Taurus? Could be dealing with another Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. The Magician. You can do anything. Take charge of your life. You can manifest what you need to be to be su success. So right now, it's telling you you have what it takes to get it done, but you're not doing it because you're stubborn or something's going on where you feel like you're not able to move forward because of certain delays that are happening. But Spirit is telling you you can do it. You have what it takes to be successful. It's just telling you to grow the fuck up and get started and do it. Take control of your life. Make the real the wheel turn. Right now, changes are not happening because of certain things that are that you're blocking. You're probably blocking success. What's going on in your love life? What's going on in the love life of Taurus? I'm saying that you're not taking the bull by its horns. You really aren't. Not yet. And you need to do that. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. You need to allow it to happen. You could be passionate about someone. Or you're lacking passion as well. I know with my Taurus. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. You have what it takes. You have the passion. You have what it takes to, to start something new. Maybe in a relationship. You got to be maybe more passionate. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Will bring you romance and passion. So think positive. If you think positive and stop thinking about all that bullshit that you went through. The more you think about that bullshit, the more you're allowing it and you're continue, continuing it to stay. You're manifesting that shit. But when you try to manifest the good and you stay positive and you believe in it, you will manifest great things. Just like the magician card here. Especially now that you're out of heartache. Or you're getting over heartache. All I'm saying is just hear this person out. 
take the advice that they give you, this older Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. Okay? Or you could have been, or you could have entered a relationship with a Gemini and it just didn't go well. They probably thought you were an immature person who didn't have their shit together and it caused delays for some of you, not all of you. But it's telling you to stay optimistic about your love life. You probably feel like you're a failure in your love life because of certain things. Stop blocking your progress. Okay, Taurus, I hope this resonated with you. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And I hope you have a good two weeks. Ta-ta!